Hello everyone, I am Sojit Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Today's uh, topic of this video is uh, dissection of heteronews fossilis. And also its uh, dissection about its uh, accessory respiratory organ. Before uh, starting the dissection of this fish, uh, this fish is also known as uh, stinging catfish. Uh, before going to the dissection and showing the accessory respiratory organ, first of all, we should know about uh, its. Uh, first, we should know about the classification of this uh, fish. Uh, first of all, this fish uh, you already know that its kingdom is Animalia. Corde, uh, phylum chordata because it has the backbone phylum chordata group is carniata carniata means uh, it has and the brain uh, the, and the brain is covered uh, in a cranium subphylum is a vertebrata division is a ganthostomata ganthostomata means it has the jaw the jaw fish Superclass uh, is a uh, pitches, uh, class is a uh, actin of pterygi, order siluri forms, uh, phylum uh, heteropneus tidae, genus uh, heteropneus, uh, and species is uh, fossilized. Okay, fossilis. For now we should know about its uh, habit and habitat. What is it? It is found uh, mainly in uh, ponds, ditches. Uh, swamps and marshes but sometimes occurs in muddy river muddy river it also you can if you went to a some river side you can in some you can see the muddy that that time you can get this fish it can also tolerate slightly brackish water brackish water you can also tolerate because uh, the connect uh, brackish water means uh, the water which is found uh, in the water when that is uh, the fresh water and the sea water connection to the brackish water you can also find there and uh, it's uh, it is a omnivorous organ uh, animal or uh, omnivorous it uh, anything it can eat it get uh, anything he it will eat the omnivorous now its character some of its character is uh, that uh, it is also i have said that it is also known as uh, stinging catfish uh, because why it is uh, a stinging catfish uh, because uh, it bears you can see it bears a uh, sting this is a sting you can see sting uh, in the pectoral fin it is only found in the pectoral fin in both the side uh, in the right and left both the side uh, which has a poison gland it has a poison gland poison gland poison means uh, the uh, it is not kind of that poison which kill uh, killed uh, um, any um, uh, humans or anything it is just a uh, uh, gland that give painful sting it if it uh, sting to the human give painful and it cause uh, uh, because of very much painful it uh, create a fever so he has a uh, uh, poison gland and give painful sting to the human after stinging it can cause a fever due to pain now it has a long anal fin you can see it can you can see that it has a long anal fin it does not have the long dorsal fin it only have a long anal fin it uh, it has small uh, dorsal you can see okay it has small dorsal fin and also small uh, this is ventral fin. Now you can see the head region. Head region is uh, you can see tapered uh, like uh, the long and tapered uh, bears uh, bubbles. Uh, bubbles you can see these are the bubbles. Uh, these are bubbles. Uh, four to five bubbles are present uh, in the head in this uh, region. Now it, you can see the color of this uh, fish is uh, slightly olive green. Olive green in color you can see it's olive green. Sometimes it also if you uh, olive green and uh, also it grays in color. 
you can see the, the gray is in color also olive green it can be olive green also sometime in uh, gray is, uh, olive green color and gray is in color now this is some of the description about it now going to the uh, uh, acid respiratory organ the we will uh, discuss about the acid, uh, acid respiratory organ that uh, the extra branchial diverticulum in this piece uh, the extra diverticulum is present uh, from the gill from, which is connected from the gill in this region in the gill chamber it connects from the gill chamber up to a minimum length the, the function is to it is the it is connected with gill so it absorbs the air it absorbs the air from the gills and helps the fish when the water have low rate of oxygen when the the water level of the the level of the oxygen decreases in the water so that this extra branchial diverticulum help this fish to survive and in that uh, in that kind of condition now i will show you how it is uh, uh, present in this fish uh, from the gill chamber to have the minimum length first of all you should cut uh, this uh, gill chamber from this opercula After cutting this uh, opacula, other this you have seen, I have cut also cut this pectoral fin and with the sting. Now, with the help of the scalpel, should make a cut from this region. When using a sharp scalpel, be careful. cut this part in this way you can see this you can see this uh, diverticulum branchial diverticulum this uh, pipe like a uh, tube like structure so you should cut this uh, muscles and remove slowly slowly you should cut Then with the help of the forceps, remove the muscles upward. Now you can see this extra diverticulum very clearly. This is the extra diverticulum. 
which uh, absorb the air from the gill i will also show you the connection now with the help again with the help of this scissor to cut this section with the help of scissor cut the this section part in this way now you can see the connection between you can see this is the connection slowly again i will cut this should hold tightly otherwise you can see the condition it will move because i have used the fresh the alive fish before that i have just killed it so slightly it is alive now you can see this is the so you can see this is the extra diverticulum uh, branchial diverticulum this is extra vertical diverticulum and uh, the connection you can see as it is connected with the gill you can see in this part in this part you can see the connection in this part you can see the connection of this extra branchial diverticulum with the gill as i have tried to so the uh, i will try to zoom this part i have focus it uh, you can see this is uh, extra branchial diverticulum and in this you can see the connection of this branchial diverticulum with the gill and gill with the gill with the gill chamber it is connected so that the air which is taken by the gill it is absorbed by this extra branchial diverticulum so that in the less oxygen level of the water it can survive in that kind of situation or condition so this is the accessory respiratory organ of the heterobnused fossilis so i hope you have understand today's uh, dissection video if you like give a like comment and share with your friend uh, and uh, subscribe my channel to get uh, more notification about uh, more uh, practical videos and also the lectures thank you